Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Market outlook for La Liga team of the season is what we're talking about today. Of course, today in the new loading screen, we got the Super League uh, confirmed starting today on Monday. So we're going to have the Super League team in packs as the secondary league of team of the season that is going on behind La Liga team of the season. So that was something that came out today as well. Uh, the Sunday content, I'll just cover this really quickly. We got a uh, an SBC for a kit and also an upgrade to the La Liga Santander um, League SBC with a rather disappointing uh, Avila, is that his name? A, a rather disappointing striker. Yeah, Avila, uh, the Argentine striker. So, of course, a nice little green link to Messi, but the card itself is not that great so if you grinded the la liga spc for that that kind of sucks to be honest if you spent all the time and coins grinding that up just to finish it and that was your card of choice ever since they put out ben white from the efl championship the choices have kind of just gone downhill but regardless i want to talk about the market movements and the content that we could see this week and it all kind of revolves around the guaranteed la liga team of the season sbc because that is what everybody looks forward to in the midweek that and upgrade packs uh is what people look forward to in the midweek on this game uh because this market right now is basically what you might call in a crash or a uh, major sell-off if you're not going to call it a crash we are having a major sell-off from the weekend league and a lot of card prices are just tanking fakir is 540 this guy was 750k like two days ago he was a million coins first few hours uh, La Liga Tots, Premier League team of the seasons, all of these guys have dropped a ton and we've come to the realization that a lot of people in this game do not have coins uh, because of all of the SBCs that came out during Prem team of the season. All those upgrade SBCs, right? The four rare player from the Premier League, that pack, that SBC costed 30k a pop and people were doing 10, 20, 30 of them at a time to try to pack these cards. And regardless of whether they packed them or not, they were trading in coins and tradable players that they bought off the transfer market and trading that into an untradable uh, four set of players, whether they got team of seasons or whether they didn't, they were submitting coins away. And the amount of coins that were lost in this last week has been massive because of those SBCs, the upgrade SBC that came out on Thursday and also just people losing a bunch of coins in the weekend league sell-off. Like a lot of you guys probably bought this Aguero if you wanted to buy him for your team. You probably bought him just right around 2 mil, 2.1. That was a decent price last week. He went up to 2.3 on Thursday, on Friday, and now he's 1.8. It's crazy with some of these sell-offs, right? Van Dyke was 2.9. Now he's 2.4. Are these prices going to hold? I honestly think they are because La Liga team of the season is so much cheaper compared to prem team this season except for you know the messy right like messy is the cheapest team this season card that we have right now uh but then if you look at the rest of the squad we only have one other player two other players over a million coins we have a couple guys that are close right with benzema and ramos they're close to a mil but suarez baran and messi are the only players above one million coins in this squad so as a whole these tots cards are way cheaper and a little bit, uh, this isn't, uh, no, you know, degrading the the La Liga, but less hyped than the Premier League. So um, that is just kind of uh, a sit the situation that is going on right now. These cards are heavily supplied on the market and they're just very cheap. And again, I think a lot of the stuff that happens on the market this week really revolves around the guaranteed SBC for these players. Because yeah, there's some people in this game that want to get La Liga cards, right? They want to get themselves the new Benzema, right? This is a good looking card, yeah? Um, but this is what we saw last week as well with the Prem, that a lot of stuff is literally based around the, um, guaranteed SBC. Once that SBC comes out, then people can start to form their teams, buy cards if they want to, or just kind of start to form a plan of action, basically based on who they pack from that SBC, how much it costs, what they have to sell to go do it. Think about last week when we got the Prem guaranteed SBC, right? Think about a guy like Lucas Mora. Uh, who shapeshifter card was around 315 320k at the time last week uh, and he dropped massively which he is he's now very low again um, but this card last week was 300,000 coins um, right before the guaranteed prem sbc dropped he dropped to 260 270 
and then rebounded back over 300k. There was a crazy time of panic when that La Liga or when the Prem SBC guaranteed came out because people realized, hey, this is an 88 rated squad with a team of the season item. I've got to sell some cards here to go do this SBC. Uh, and then that's why you saw that panic. Could that happen again this week? I think it's a possibility. Although I feel like a lot of people may have sold off their cards on the weekend league um, because that's why you're seeing the massive, massive drops now. I feel like maybe most people actually sold off their cards tonight or Sunday night, Saturday night, at some point to the end of this weekend league. And now they're sitting on a lot of coins and they kind of, they took their losses, as I guess you could say. Um, but I still think there's going to be a point this week where some cards do go lower, especially in like the high tier meta, right? Like, look at these icons, man. This is a card that really struck me tonight as a crazy price. This prime moments Raul was 1.2 million coins Yes, that is correct. He was 1.2 million coins and selling Friday after lighting rounds. This guy is 920,000 coins for a prime moments icon. He's dropped almost 300K in a weekend span. Why is that? Because the new TOTS cards are cheap. They have better statistics than a lot of these cards, right? Let's say you have Raul. Why would you not play Benzema in your squad if it's you know at all possible to link Benzema uh, in your squad or Suarez, because they both have a lot better stats than this Raul. Again, you just, you look for the icon links. Uh, so, you know, that's where I think a lot of people are selling these to go use team of the season cards, which makes sense. This happens a lot of the time every year, but the panic selling this weekend really again showed me that so many people lost coins last week because of the SBCs. And this is something that I think if it's done exactly like last week would come out today on Monday, the four rare player La Liga pack. Now, I have not seen a Footwatch tweet about it yet as I'm recording this video Sunday night heading into Monday, but that's something to look out for today. And if you guys are one of those people that went out onto this game that bought La Liga rare golds, right? This is the guy I always use as my example, right? This the Hermoso guy, right? He is a center back in La Liga. This guy, I think, is like 15, 1600 coins. All right, so we have some squad battle supply. He's down a little bit. Um, but a lot of these La Liga rares are like 1.5K. Uh, and people are going unassigned on them. They're buying lots of them because they want to be able to do those SBCs. If those SBCs don't come out, because I don't even know if we're guaranteed them again, because a lot of times EA this year, between promos, uh, has switched up the upgrade packs that they release every week, right? One week we'll get 81 pluses. The next week, we'll get the 80-plus player picks. So if you are buying and going on a sign on these La Liga rare golds, I hope for you that they release the same four rare gold player from that league, that SBC that we had last week, um, because then those golds will go up and you'll make coins or you'll be able to do the SBCs for cheaper. So it would make sense. But it, I'm not doing that because I think that those rares are just very overpriced. All it would take is for EA to drop an 81-plus double guaranteed into the game today on Monday instead of what they did last week. And that would just, you know, a lot of people would be mad because a lot of people invested in those La Liga rares. So if you have not bought in La Liga rares, I would suggest do not do it. Um, because if that SBC, that the one that came out last week with the four rare gold players, if that comes out again, uh, I don't, I think I did maybe like 10 to 15 of those out of pocket last week, just because they were so expensive, man. 30,000 coins for buying 11 rare gold players and turning it in for four rare gold players. So that was a, a big scam of an SBC, but so many people did it because upgrade packs and the availability and the option to pack these TOTS cards was just over overwhelming. So I do think we'll get some sort of upgrade SBC today. If EA would be so nice to just drop us the uh, 25K pack, the one that we got on Thursday of last week, if they could just drop that today on Monday and let that ride until Friday, that'd be fantastic because we'd be able to craft and do SBCs all week long, which would be sick. Um, so I do think we'll get some sort of upgrade SBC today, but uh, I just wanted to talk about the that La Liga rare gold situation because I think I feel like that's a bit crazy right now at the moment. As for content for the rest of this week, uh, I do feel like EA has been killing it with the player SBCs. Saul and Ansu Fadi, the first two that we have gotten, uh, absolutely like perfect value, great stat upgrades, uh, perfectly priced, I think. And just giving us a player that is like hyped that, you know, a fun player in FIFA with a nice boost 
Like this Ansu Fati is such a big GG from EA. Do I feel like it's a little bit overpriced for the type of card that you get? Maybe a little bit, but once we get upgrade SBCs, you might be able to craft him if we get upgrade SBCs today on Monday. You'll have enough time to craft him, I would think. Uh, but that's a kind of a, a just cool factor card. And then Saul is good value. I would expect a flashback SBC. And so many people are talking about flashback Musa, um, Usman Dembele or flashback Militao. So there could be some... If they do a flashback Militao this week, uh, you would probably see some crazy market movements with the other center backs that are in uh, the team of the season for La Liga. I almost feel like they're not going to do Militao flashback because they've put in Diego Carlos. They've got a Tots Varane and a Tots center back uh, Ramos as well. So I feel like them putting another center back in the game. I don't know if they want to do that. I, they very well could. Um, but if that SBC does come and it's anywhere near cheap, if it's anywhere near affordable for most people in this game, a lot of people are going to end up going and doing that SBC. And I do think you would see maybe some panic selling on a guy like Diego Carlos. That could be a time to buy in that card and stuff like that. Um, but for most of these La Liga cards, if you want to buy a La Liga team of the season, I honestly think one of your best things to do this week, if you want to buy anything that is out of packs this week, we're really, really, really waiting on that guaranteed SBC, as I mentioned before. Whenever we see that into the code, whenever we see Footwatch tweeting about that, um, that's going to kind of be our time to look at these cards and say, hey, we're going to look for some panic before the SBC comes out, when the SBC comes out, and and then go from there. Because what we've noticed from the weeks past is, and this was the same thing with, uh, this happened with the Prem, right? If you look at some of the Prem graphs, this might not show exactly, but there was a lot of a rebound right after that guaranteed SBC came. Aubameyang, I think, might have been his cheapest on like Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, 1.73 to 1.76. The SBC came out on Thursday, and then in the Friday, he really boomed up on the weekend. And now La Liga has come, and he's, he's back down a bunch. Um, but a lot of these Premier League guys were actually their cheapest around the beginning or right when that SBC came out. Uh, and then you saw, of course, a lot of panic on the rest of the market, which we talked about a little bit earlier, which we'll be watching for this week too. But again, that's why I feel like so much of this game just really relies on uh, the the guaranteed TOTS SBC. So much of the market movements this week and, and what we can expect in FIFA is just relying upon that SBC. I cannot believe that Griezmann is this cheap. Griezmann was selling at like 1.3 million coins. He is almost, he's close to halved in price. I know the Ansu Fadi SBC is hurting this card. Uh, and I do expect a decent rise on Griezmann because I don't feel like the Ansu Fadi is going to be good enough to hold this Griezmann card down this much. So this is going to be somebody who, if I'm looking to buy a La Liga card out of packs, this might be one that I focus on. Um, but again, uh, just a lot of low prices right now. People don't have a lot of coins. And if the upgrade SBCs come out today and it's the same as last week, they're going to just suck even more coins off this game. If they keep putting out good value SBCs, I really don't see what is going to fuel this market with coins and give people coins to go and buy and do things with, except for Thursday rewards from the weekend league. Uh, and even then, you know, we're probably going to have to do, if we're going to invest, we'll do a lot of our buying before then. Uh, on like the out of packs La Liga cards, which a lot of you guys have been asking me about out of packs La Liga. When do you want to buy these sorts of cards that have again been panic sold off a lot in the weekend league sell off as well? This Valverde today was 320 at one point. Uh, it looks like he is how much is Valverde right now, man? How much is Valverde? Three, 340, 3, 340. So this guy was 320 at one point. Uh, so these cards are fluctuating with the panic sell, a couple undercuts, and then there's possibly some trading that you can do with these cards during the week as well. As you just see them drop on a fluctuation. I saw this earlier tonight with just a random for birthday card, Teo Hernandez, right? Uh, this guy, which I think right now is probably like 240, 250. He's a little bit even higher than that. This guy was at two, 230,000 coins flat at one point tonight. If I could type in the filters correctly, he was 230k flat at one point, and now he's back to 260. So these cards do fluctuate a little bit, and they do kind of jump around, just because you know it, all it takes is a couple people to undercut a card a couple times before it sells, uh, before they get their sale price, um, because it's the weekend league sell-off, and not a lot of people are buying. So there could be some low prices if you want to pick up some cards on you know Monday morning. If you still see some really cheap prices, whether it's 
out of pack special cards. Like I've been talking about this Griezmann. Once the Ansu Fadi goes away, I feel like this Griezmann card is going to rise up a little bit. Um, you know, you can chemistry style trade this uh, Soyuncu center back card with a shadow. Shadows are like 25K right now. It's crazy. Uh, so if you're looking to trade this week as well and just do some quick flips, um, look for stuff kind of like this. Now this, you know, after I show this video to however many people are going to watch this or show this card, right? You may not be able to uh, get Ansu or Soyuncu for um, a quick deal on a bid and there might be some more competition, right? But this is the general way of thinking. It's going to work more when with just a this one card chemistry style flipping on the new team of the season cards that are in a you know general budget maybe less than like 500,000 coins that a lot of people want to go out and use so like i know i can sell soyunchu at 180 and it looks like some other people are on this because of the bids that have been placed for a far out time frame um but with the shadow all it takes is somebody who's you know selling off their soyunchu from weekend league right now he's 180k with a shadow all it takes is one person to list him for like what his going price is at the moment without a shadow or like 165k, or which I think he is. He just was 165k. Now he's 170. Now he's even above 170. Interesting. So these these card prices are fluctuating. These cards are fluctuating, and I think it's going to happen throughout the week this week. Um, but when that guaranteed Tots La Liga SBC comes out, that's going to be our time frame to really look at a lot of cards. A lot of you guys have been asking about like that Valverde or or Jao Felix. When are these cards going to be their cheapest? And I really think it's going to be around that time frame of when that SBC does come out. 860 for Jao Felix. That is really cheap. I'm going to add this bid because um, that's really cheap for Jao Felix. But I do expect a couple more SBCs, probably a flashback um, SBC at some point this week. That's the card type uh, that we haven't got yet. We've got a TOTS. We've got a TOTS moments. I would expect a flashback. And then maybe they do another team of the season or maybe a player moments. Um James Madison, I'm I'm hearing won a like FIFA tournament that EA was putting on. Remember we got that um that guy from Denmark. He had an SBC a couple weeks ago from winning that FIFA tournament, like the Stay and Play Cup or whatever. Um, this James Madison card, if he gets an SBC, would be very interesting because I do think it would draw some hype back to the Prem. Um, do I think like Vardy's team of the season card would ride up? I mean, if if they give this guy an SBC, they're probably going to make him a 90 or 91. And he's going to be a really, really good looking card, which I think a lot of people will do, which could cause some English links to rise. But I don't think we need to worry about that until that comes. That's just something that, hey, maybe could come this week. So again, a little bit of a recap, right? To end this video off. Monday, today, I would expect some sort of League S or not League SPC, upgrade SPC pack. Again, watch out for the footwatch code. We'll see if there's any movements with the La Liga rares because of that. Um, hopefully EA just gives us something in terms of upgrade SBC. And then throughout the week, another player SBC or two. And then the guaranteed SBC, we'll talk about that as it comes during the week. We'll talk about when to sell, when to buy, and all of that good stuff as we head through another week of team of the season, La Liga. Good luck if you're finishing up your weekend league, which it's probably going to be over around the time this video goes live. Um, but hopefully you did well there. I am think I'm stopping at 17. I really don't feel like I need to play anymore because I'll get my guaranteed La Liga picks um, and we'll go from there through the rest of this week. If you guys have any questions or comments, drop them down below in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. That's the market outlook for this week. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.